If you live in a big city like me, you might find yourself being more stressful than usual. You might find that you're generally more stressed than other people living elsewhere or than you having lived elsewhere in the past or when you visit other places that are smaller, closer to nature, you find that your stress levels go way, way, way down. What I find helps um, with dealing with stress in a big city uh, or with pressure is being more mindful in general. I know that this is a very vague advice, but if you think about it, living in a city like London, it can be, it might be Paris, it might be New York City, it might be Tampa, it might be Los Angeles, it might be whatever, Barcelona. All of these cities are usually way more crowded than other places. The distances are way bigger, that your commute time is much longer. We generally tend to rush everywhere. We run to go to work, we run to go meet friends, we run to our yoga studio, we run to uh, the park or whatever, we run to the supermarket because everything takes so long and everything is so crowded so you have to rush to beat the traffic, you rush to be there on time, you rush to beat the crowds and get a table. So this thing creates a pressure at least that's what happens with me. I don't know if, if, you have, uh, if you have ever experienced that. If you have, please let me know in the comments. But I find it very stressful being constantly in this situation that never ends. It's like chasing your tail. Inevitably, you are where you are right now. So because you can't clap your hands and move some, somewhere else, I'm going to tell you what helps me deal with that after living in London for eight years now. So what I find, as I said, is being more mindful in general. Being mindful of your surroundings, being mindful of where you are, images, the landscape, the place, the time, the smells, the sounds, everything. Because when we are always in a rush, we don't get to experience whatever is around us, we usually run straight ahead and don't take a moment to look around and listen and smell and experience. So we're blocking out all of the city, uh, even though, you know, you live here, you think you know the streets, you think you know how the, the houses look like, look like or the buildings, but you haven't really looked <laughs> because you're always like this. Am I wrong? So next time, take a moment or close your eyes for a bit. Hold on, pause, experience, take in the whole experience. Even if you go out to eat or have a beer or have a glass of wine, you can still like take a moment to realize where you are, what you're doing. Um, take a deep breath and stop thinking about the next thing and the next place where you need to be. Inevitably, commuting takes a very long time in big cities and traveling is a part of our lives. So my suggestion is next time you're on the tube, on the train, on the bus, in your car, listen to an audiobook or get a book or don't get a book, even better and take some time, as I said, to do your own mindfulness exercise. Take a few deep breaths, you can either close your eyes or not, and then try to notice everything and do everything consciously, because we tend to do everything on the autopilot and when we are very busy and very stressed. But in order to find calmness, you can choose whatever helps you best. If, if that is an audiobook or a podcast, do that. If that is listening to nature sounds on your headphones, do that. If it is reading a book or just chilling and not doing anything, do that. Do more of what you know makes you calmer. Another of my tips is that when you uh, are going somewhere, 
whatever that is, it doesn't matter. Take a route that is calmer, more scenic and less crowded. That makes a huge difference and also it gives you different eye stimulation because you're seeing something that you don't usually see, especially if you tend to walk the same path or the same route every day. If you are taking the tube, which is underground, try to change uh, your commute and see how it is on the bus. Maybe seeing outside is gonna take your mind off of things and it's gonna make you calmer. On the other hand, when you are out with friends, in restaurants, in cafes, in Central, where it's packed with people and tourists and everyone's going here and there and blah, blah, blah. My advice is find a calmer place to sit, find a corner where you won't get uh, pushed all the time from people um, moving around the place. If you're feeling very stressed, don't go to places that are very, very loud and try to maybe arrive early and take five minutes again to savor the moment or take your time. Try to, in general, be there earlier so that you beat the stress of having to be on time and are you going to make it in time and blah, blah, blah. Obviously, moving a lot makes a huge impact on our body and our mood so since you are already living in a big city take advantage of it and go to yoga classes pilates go to dance classes go have activities because that boosts our mood and brings down the stress levels it's making us happy so it's making us calmer in the long term Another thing that big cities offer are loads of events. So depending on your mood, find things that make you happy, give you a sense of inspiration and go to those events. For example, you might like a concert, you might like a theater play. Don't go to something, especially if you're feeling agitated, overwhelmed or stressed at that period. Don't go to something that's gonna put you on edge, that's gonna um, be like a lot to digest. It's gonna be um, maybe even more overwhelming or frustrating. Uh, it might be a great experience, but don't do it at that point. Find something that is gonna calm you down and lift you up <laughs> at the same time it might be a concert it might be uh, your favorite artist seeing them live it might be a musical it might be a theater play or whatever another crucial thing is taking advantage of the open spaces and green spaces of the city especially if you're living in london like me you know that london is one of the greenest cities in europe yes it is. So go to the park regularly. Parks are everywhere in London. Every neighborhood has a big park and a small park. It's, it's got a canal, it's got a forest, it's got something. So go to that green space, go to your favorite green space and sit there. Take some time to go to nature just to be calm and observe. There are so many studies saying that nature has got a big impact on our mood and our calmness. So take advantage of the green spaces of the city. They are there to make you breathe. So do that. Oh, and a last very, very important thing is the chapter of eating. But you're gonna say, but Evie, what does eating have to do with a big city? People eat everywhere. Yeah, but the thing is that when we live in big cities, uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, we tend to rush everywhere. We are always in a hurry. So the problem is that most people uh, eat while standing up or they eat very quickly. They have very short lunch breaks or dinner breaks or dinners in general they because they work a lot and they commute a lot they don't have time to cook they don't have time to eat properly they don't have time to even think about eating or what they're gonna eat or what they're gonna cook so we tend to eat very badly 
and very fast. That's the worst thing because it's something that you do every day, many times a day. So if you try to have healthy eating habits, that's gonna help you massively being calmer and also it's gonna have a big impact on your health and mood as well because what we eat is what we become. Isn't that what they say? So try, even if it's not every day, I know that there are periods in life that are very, very busy. Your um, uh, You might have a lot of pressure from work or you might be working on a big project and you won't have enough time. But even if that's the case, still try to devote some time. It doesn't have to be a full hour. It might be 20 minutes to plan your next meal or take 20 minutes to cook at night for the next day and the next day take some time to just eat. Eat at the table alone or with company or with your family or whatever you enjoy. Try not to eat in front of the TV and just take the time to breathe and eat like a nice balanced meal and it's gonna make a whole lot of difference. Trust me. It sounds like blah, 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 but it's not. It makes a huge difference. And it doesn't have to be a very sophisticated or gourmet meal. It can be something simple, but healthy, and take time to eat it and actually see and experience what you're eating rather than eating mindlessly while standing up. So these are my major tips of how to be calmer and more zen in the big cities. Let me know what your experience is, where you live, how it is where you live. And like this video, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!